Alright, uh, my intro was dumb, so I'll just um, go into talking about each different attack. This one will be about Go Wipe. Um, I, I chose Go Wipe to do first because I think it's like the easiest to do. Um, Hogs and Dragloon actually take a lot of thought into it. Well, I mean, Hogs don't take that much thought, but um, there, there are a lot of things to consider, like Double Giant Bomb Placement, but they're rather easy, so they don't take that much, like, um, I don't know, brain powers. Uh, you don't need that much, uh, you don't have to be smart to do it. You just gotta know the fundamentals. So. Um, for example, uh, this is an anti go wipe base, and what makes it anti go wipe is because when you deploy golems, for uh, example, let's say here and here, they'll go to this cannon, mortar, or tower split off, they'll go here, 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 and they'll just walk around. Um, here they'll go here, maybe come in here and go around. Uh, the, the, they have like an anti inferno. Room. The defenses are in like a circle around the infernos, connected like that, and no defense is going to come here, go in, go to the inferno, because everything's closer um, around instead of into the inferno. So this is a good base for go I, I copied this from Reddit Troopers, actually. Um, so yeah, that's uh, anti-golem. Uh, Anti-Pekka, you want something like a big moat. If you're defending against two stars, which I don't recommend, I mean... Um, it's good to defend against two stars, but you want to defend against three stars because we can three star and um, it's not a success if they two star. But like for example, something like this where you have a big moat around your town hall, a P.E.K.K.A is gonna go to the closest building, like I mentioned in my funneling video. Um, it's like four spaces away. So if they come here, they're just gonna go all the way around. Here they'll either break out or go in, and the inferno is like really small. So after they destroy these buildings, the closest building is actually like this archer town. So they'll probably come around. So you want like your town hall to be avoidable. You want like a big ring around it. So the Pekka's, Golems, Wizards go around it and never hit it. Um, and it's hard to do at town hall 9 10 because you don't have any like really big defensive buildings. At town hall 9 you have the Expos, at town hall 10 you have the Infernos and the Expos. So that's a lot easier. Now trap placement. You don't want giant bombs in between defenses, like I mentioned. Um, if you're purely defending this go wipe, um, in the conclusion for Town Hall 8 base building series, I'll mention like where to place your traps to cover them all the best. And but if you're just purely defending this go wipe, you want to place them um, somewhere like where your heroes draw them. This is a good spot um, because because you don't need to defend against hogs at Town Hall 10 if you have a full-time inferno. Um, so like something like this where they deploy their golems, pekkas, um, wizards, and the golems will just go around like that because there are two storages here in the barracks. And then the pekkas and wizards will all funnel into the queen, the CC troops will come, they'll all come right here and boom, two giant bombs will explode the wizards and witches if they have CC witches. But the pekkas obviously won't be that affected, but then the pekka will be all alone because the golems are on the size, the wizards are dead. Um, so that's giant bob placement. Little bombs, um, like I mentioned in the trap placement, can't do much, so you have to bucket them together. I recommend putting them by a wall to hurt uh, wall biggers, or you can place them in random places to hurt wizards that are running around. And spring traps, again, just like giant bombs, um, I, I recommend to put them in between defenses, but if you're just purely defending against go wipe, you want to place them where wall breakers go or where wizards go. So wizards are probably just going to run around the base, they might go inside, but if they go inside, they're probably going to be fried. Um, so you want to place them like random places where golems don't travel over, it doesn't matter um, exactly where. Outside of the base, um, I'm not sure, if you want to place them on the outside of the base, you want to defend against wall breakers. If you want to place them inside, just random spots where golems won't travel over, like I mentioned. Huh, um... I think that's about it. Uh, I can't think of anything else because those are the three troops in Goite that you need to defend against. The most important one, I would say, is probably the P.E.K.K.A. Um, the P.E.K.K.A. does the most damage, has almost both health, most health. Of course, the golems have the most health, but it can't do much damage. So look, when the golems travel around, that's really important. Um, but then the P.E.K.K.A.s will be exposed. And if you have CC troops, if they don't do a lure, then um, the P.E.K.K.A.s will get fried because the uh, they take multiple swings to kill wizards, archers. Especially if you have something like this where they come in from the side, the golems come around, Pekka's and wizards come here, um, the CC troops, queen, king, aggro's them here, chat bomb, then all the wizards are dead, and Pekka's will take like, probably like 4 minutes to kill the CC troops one by one, so that's gonna obviously mess up their raid, 
and that's where you see a lot of CC uh, go wipe fails when the CC troops come out and the wizards uh, get killed somehow or they go around or the golems go around so yeah that that's where a lot of fails happen and again I've mentioned it uh, you want to cause fails even if it means like exposing a bit of uh, somewhere in your base to be three star um, causing failures is good because you're not going to be able to defend against the second attack if they're a smart attacker and they know where all the traps and stuff are like that. So, yeah, I, th I think that's it for Tunnel 8 Go Wipe. Um, Tunnel 9 Go Wipe's a bit different because you have uh, two expos, of course, and more defenses overall, and uh, two sets of double giant bombs. So, you consider defending against hogs or defending against Go Wipe. And hogs are more stronger than Tunnel 9. Yeah, the same with Tunnel 8, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll be doing, I think, uh, either hogging or drag looting next. Um, probably hogging, because it's a bit easier. Then I'll do a, like a, maybe a part 1 or part 2 to drag looting, because that's really big, and it's really important. So, see ya.